my name is Mahir Johnson. I'm from Chester, Pennsylvania, and I'm a student athlete here at Goldie Beagle College. You know, I, I started playing basketball when I was about, like, say, four years old. And I, I started playing organized basketball. It was a league called Chester Biddy League and Chester PA. Uh, my dad actually put the ball in my hand, like I said, when I was like four years old. I just think about my family, because uh, I'm not just doing it for me, I'm doing it for my family too. I'm, I want my mom to retire, so that, that keeps me going every day too. You know, I, I just think about that. I think about that every day. Every day, yeah, I think about what, uh, what I want for my family and what I want for me in life. Uh, I can play shooting guard and a little bit of point guard. I'm kind of like a combo guard. Here's Mahir Johnson. Pull up. It's good. Nice shot. Love Mahir that mid-range game by him. It's a great Ooh. mid-range shot that he got. Now Mahir Johnson after the big first half. Attacks the lane. That's a great take by Mahir Johnson. Great take by him. Attacking Johnson. the shot blocker. We're putting up 17, Pat. Uh, we, we ended up doing pretty good last year. You know, we lost in the uh, Final Four of the conference championship, but other than that, we had a solid year. We lost like three or four seniors, but we pretty much got everybody coming back. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of new recruits coming in, so. Yeah. I expect us to just come back, learn from what we did wrong last year, learn from that, and just keep improving. Improve on our strengths, improve on our weaknesses, and just go out and just give it, give it our all every game we have. Well, Mahir was a transfer from Delaware State. Um, I remember watching him in high school, knowing he was unbelievable talented. Got banged up a little bit down there, kind of, kind of screwed up his playing time and his role down there. So he wanted to come a little closer to home and find a place where he can really thrive and succeed. Uh, knowing him from high school, I knew this would be a perfect fit for him. Not knowing the work ethic, the character, the person he is, the man he is, until I really started talking to him and recruiting him. And that's what really just drew me to him. He is the hardest working player I have ever been around in my life and been around basketball. I've never seen a, a human being shoot as many shots as he does, work out as hard as he does, sweat through as many t-shirts as he does. He's just a perfect guy to have on the program. He shows the young guys what's the right way to do things, how to go about your business, and it's just his character and his work ethic that really, really sets him apart from everyone else. Uh, I just try to like work on different stuff every day, focus on like just having an all around game. Like one day I have a focus where I'm shooting all threes off, off the dribble, and then the next day I do, I'm shooting all mid ranges off the dribble. Then I'm working on my ball handling, working on floaters, working on finishing, trying to improve my defense, uh, watching film, just, just trying to always just improve and try to be the best basketball player that I can be. I want to be a professional basketball player, you know. I want to do this for as long as I can. I want to be able to just uh, make my life better and make my family life better doing something that I love. That's the ultimate goal. You got to like just be driven to give it your all every day. You're driven to just get better every day, even when you don't feel like it. Even when like you feel tired, you still got to have that drive up inside of you to just be great at this game of basketball. So I, I always like ask myself like and with the, on days when I don't feel like working out, I ask myself, am I where I wanna be at in life? And right now, nah, I'm not where I wanna be at. I don't I'm not at my ultimate goal. And when I do get to where I wanna be, I'm gonna work even harder to stay there. So that's that's how I approach it.